If you've spent any amount of time since the first of the year looking for a new build home in the Houston metro area, chances are you've come across a few challenges such as price increases, limited lot availability, and builder delays. Today I'm going to be discussing what I have seen in the new home market since the first of the year so that you as a buyer can be totally informed and have realistic expectations on what to expect as you begin your new home build journey in Houston for 2022. Hello and welcome, I am Danielle and I am a realtor in the Houston area and I help families relocate here and build a new construction home. I release videos every week about the home build process and various neighborhoods you can build in. If you are relocating and have any questions, feel free to message me, I'd love to help you out. As of 2022, new home inventory is making up about 39% of the already very limited inventory available in the Houston metro area. This is already a 14% increase from 2021 where new home inventory was about 25% of the available inventory. So there is no doubt that builders are trying to keep up with the lack of inventory since the pandemic mid 2020. And it is not changing in 2022 as we have already seen a 21% increase in new build permits for this year alone. However, despite that builders are applying for permits and trying to fulfill the demand, builders are continuing to face their own set of issues such as supply chain issues, material shortages, delay in permits, rising cost of materials like lumber, and that prices and demand are going up faster than they can build. And because of these concerns, builders are finding ways to slow down. One of the ways they're slowing down is limiting the amount of lots they can sell every month. So once they reach a certain amount of lots sold, even if they have a ton available, they will shut down sales and then form a wait list or interest list for when they release the next set of lots. These wait lists usually include a earnest money deposit and sometimes when the lots do become available, they could have had a price increase. Other builders are focusing more on selling inventory only homes, meaning that the builder will predetermine which floor plan and which design options will be included in the house and not listing it for sale until after it is past the drywall phase. This is to decrease the chance of rising material costs and unexpected delays when building a home. New home pricing expectations. In reality, compared to other major US metros, we are still an affordable option, even compared to other cities within Texas, and we have a lot of room to keep growing. I'm just saying that it is taking a little bit longer than it once did, and it is a little bit more expensive than it once was, but overall, if you are looking for the best city for a new construction option with the least amount of competition, Houston is a good option. So with that being said, here is an average breakdown of the pricing I am seeing in the suburbs currently. All of this can change by next week, so just take this as a starting point, and if you want more up-to-date information or more specific information, please message me directly. This is just to give you a starting point and a realistic expectation of what you're looking at if you're looking for new construction in the Houston area. So for entry to mid-level builders, you are looking at an average price of about 165 to 195 per square foot. These include builders like KB Homes, Ashton Woods, DR Horton, History Maker, Empire Homes, Syntax Homes, Lennar, Beezer and Chesmar. For mid to luxury builders, you are looking more at a price point of 195 to 250 per square foot. And these are builders like Perry Homes, Highland Homes, Ravenna, Coventry, David Weekly, Frederick Harris, Newmark, TriPoint, and MI Homes. Of course, there's going to be some variations in these pricing. A lot of this depends on the community that's being built in, the region of Houston it's being built in, and of course, the size of the lot and the upgrades included in the home. So what does this mean for you as a buyer in 2022? It means if you want a house built from dirt by the end of 2022, then you should be in contract with a builder no later than April or May. Once again, build times are going much longer than six months. You can expect a build time of six, seven, eight, nine or more months before completion. So if you're planning to build a home and be here by summer before the kids start school, I highly suggest you start looking right now or even at this point start considering inventory new homes instead. It also means as of right now, 
there's no way around it, prices are probably going to continue to increase. As of the first of the year, I have seen on average about three price increase amongst various builders throughout the Houston area. None of us are fortune tellers, but I will say that there is no indication of the market crashing or being in a housing bubble. Prices may level out at some point, but I don't foresee the prices coming back down. Not to mention the feds have said that they are going to raise the interest rates. So with interest rates increasing and pricing increasing, if you plan to build or buy a home in Houston, I strongly suggest that you do it sooner rather than later. Be prepared to do a lot of research. The listings that you are frequently seeing on new home source, Redfin, Zillow, even the HAR MLS, with a posting that says you can get a 3,000 square foot home for 290,000. These posts are made by builders and builders reps to get you to call them. This is also a representative post of what they may have had available. Unless you feel like calling 10 to 15 different builders in six plus communities to figure out who has what and when, I strongly urge you now more than ever to use a realtor when you're building a new home, particularly a realtor who works with builders a lot and has formed relationships with the sales reps. This is going to save you a lot of time and research and they will guide you to find a builder that is reputable and has availability. And if you see an inventory home that you like and you are ready to buy and there is no wait list, I strongly suggest you jump on it as quickly as you can. I am telling you, especially under the price point of 450, that home is probably not going to last very long on the market. Be financially prepared for your new home. Please keep in mind that the initial contract includes the base price of the home, the lot premium, the exterior selections and elevations, and the earnest money for this portion of the contract is usually anywhere from one to 10% of the sales price. There could also be a deposit of 25 to 50% cash, depending on what kind of structural upgrades you choose. These are things like adding a bedroom or extending the garage. Anything structural to the floor plan could have a deposit. And then you also have the design center deposit, which can be anywhere from 25 to 50% of the design center options that you choose. And then once the house is completed, you could have closing costs that will cost you anywhere of one to 5% of the sales price of the home. And if you need to sell your current home in order to purchase a new build home, please keep in mind that some builders will allow a contingency for you to sell your home. However, they will have the expectation that the home will be sold before the drywall goes up. And if you plan to buy an inventory home, a lot of builders are not accepting mortgage contingencies, meaning that the purchase of the inventory home will not and cannot be contingent on the sale of your current home. And lastly, like I said, despite all of this, Houston is still a great place to live with a lot of opportunity for new home construction. Just come with the expectation of the pricing and how long it may actually take to build a new construction home. If you are looking to move to the Houston area and have any questions about neighborhoods or builders, feel free to message me. I'd love to help you out. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.